Well, for I example, agree. there was a there was a Reddit community dedicated to fem cells, women who consider themselves involuntarily celibate, and it like was bombarded with men who were propositioning these women with sex. The reverse is not the case. There's not just women flocking to incel communities to fuck Here's these the men. Here's the easiest way to frame so it, hot. right? If there was a male version of you, he's not having sex at sex parties and having sex with people back in June. There's not. That, it's not going to happen. You think at sex parties? I mean, he's going to the same that, sex party. Why would you disagree he's with gonna that? He's going to go to the same sex, sex, sex party. I would say, well, I, what I would argue, though, is that a man who's obese is going to struggle far more when it comes to purely getting sex than a woman who's obese. That's the point, yeah. Well, you're not so. really an insult. You can go to Nevada and book a prostitute if you want no, well, to. Well, but... That would still be involuntarily. How? Yeah, because in That's, that case, prostitution yeah, is not. Doesn't. He's count. talking about. Okay, he's ta yeah, he's talking about sex between uh, two consenting adults absent money, where you're not paying them for it. That's the point of it. Yeah. That. Okay. Yeah, because I mean, in that case, it's like, oh, well, I mean, you could just go buy a, a, a but prostitute. Also the difference like, of what I we think want is different, purpose, too. Right? Like, women want the money, I mean, like, we'll what? be okay with having Freudian money. Something? And men, are like, the, the, the drive is also very different. Wait. Just in general. Like, you mean the sex drive? Yeah, like, for instance, like, a man doesn't necessarily, like, a man would pay for sex, but a woman won't necessarily have to pay for sex, but there's other things that we might do that we'll have to, like, that will work for yeah, like intimacy. Exactly. So I it think may that's not be the money. point. Like when we talk about incels, else. like they could book a prostitute, but typically, like you were saying, they're looking for someone who's like enthusiastically consenting to it. So typically, they're not just looking for sex because they could go to a hooker. They're looking for some level of intimacy. Yeah. So analogously, fem cells, yes, they could be propositioned by those guys on the Reddit, but they're looking for someone who actually cares about right. them. And doesn't but comparing just well, exactly. this is also a bad presupposition yes. for a different reason. Another reason this is a bad presupposition is they may not be going to a hooker not because they don't want to or they don't just want sex, but because they may have religious convictions or other values which conflict with doing something like that. So if they have that strong of a this religious is, conviction, so hang on, they should be so hell-bent on I'm being almost, an incel. I'm almost they should be done. Calm down, calm down, Farah, before you start spurg talking and turbo talking. Let me just finish the point. Everything I'm saying is sound. Just yeah, that's nice. Yeah. Make Wait, it turbo it'll be just as sound when I'm done Maybe speaking. Maybe let's just, we just got to avoid. He's just I bad at moderating. I'm sorry, I have to so, moderate myself. So anyway, just, yeah, just chill out. I'm almost yeah, done. Yeah, chill out, chill out, Farah. Yeah, chill out, Farah. I'm almost done. when they say calm down. Yeah, yeah. So I didn't say calm down. You calm down. So anyway, what what I'm what I was getting at here was just to say there could be other convictions <laughs> there there could be other convictions which are here that they adhere to now most popularly what I see online with people referred to as incels is that their standards are extremely high because they have those religious convictions they can't find a woman who can meet those standards why would they go buy a prostitute if their religious that's convictions voluntary. prevent them from doing it. You're that's voluntary. You're saying he can still be an incel because he can't find voluntary. a woman who matches his values? That's literally voluntary. That's voluntary. That's like I me saying I'm an incel because I can't find a guy who's six foot, makes a million dollars a year, and wants to date me. Oh, that's yeah. ridiculous. Yeah, exactly. When you're talking about uh, somebody who is uh, incelibent by choice, would you say then, right, or I'm sorry. Um, celibate. The, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, celibate by choice. If you're just talking, anybody can just who can just go have sex with anybody, right? You can go get a, a prostitute or, or this type of thing, okay? Obviously, a person who's going to have sex with another person is going to go for their preferences, right? Isn't Not that generally paying, what they're going to do? They to choose if they're yes, paying. and like we we're saying, wait, there's two different metrics for male and female preferences, mm -hmm. but suddenly you're now using the default as the male preference. So even if he doesn't want to fuck a girl because well, she has no, different I'm religious it, values, I'm assuming why is that different ways. than me finish. saying, even yeah. though guys are propositioning me on Reddit, yeah. they're not the type of guy I'm looking for, so therefore I can still deem myself a femcel. Yeah, I'm, well, I'm assuming it both ways. So I assume it on the other way too that. So you believe femcels exist? That well, yeah, I'm not. You just said that you didn't. Well, I, I have a, I have a Brian different, did. I have a different uh, definition of it. Oh, so you, it. you think femcels exist? If it's from the religious connotation, yeah. Just religious. Well, I have a different. Yeah, I think I, not okay. from the idea of yes, I could fuck this guy, but I won't enjoy it. I won't be attracted to him. It'll feel. Yeah, very I think that all those things could be true, but it would be from a religious standpoint. No, but you can have that religious. without being religious. Yeah, generally speaking, a, a no, religious I have, standpoint. No, I have feelings yeah. like that, and I'm not religious. So if I'm very unattractive and I can only fuck guys who are like disgusting to me or. But that's not for religious reasons that I'm unattracted to them. I, wouldn't I still be a fem cell by your definition? If you no? were super, like super ugly, you mean? Like just a super, yeah, I mean, I guess. So you think the person's a But parents? I'm talking in generalities here. So I'm just saying generally that's what I would fit in that criteria. Wait, what's your question? So, so you think the, the appearance is the majority factor of whether or not someone is an incel? 
usually for a man it's more than their appearance usually it's yeah, the inside I think, I think that there could be mm. t- there's yes two, there's usually two categories the okay. here yeah because there's sure. incels that look just like any one of you guys and they're feeling like they don't have sex and the reason why is because we're so turned off by their inside and the first thing that comes out of their mouth we couldn't possibly fathom doing anything with them yeah I'm not clear. Well, okay. There's first off, I, my sense of what an incel is is it's involuntarily celibate. So this is yeah. somebody. <laughs> I, I would argue that, and maybe Andrew, this is where I disagree. If, say, you're a Christian man and you're waiting until marriage, that w- I would consider that to be voluntary. Yeah, yeah I have a hard celibacy. time with that because then, far like, would you apply that to SA? So, well, 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 wait a second. Wait, they're they're involuntary. Why couldn't they just go SA a check, right? They could do wait. that, and then wait, they wouldn't what? be they that's, would be that, involuntarily that's a false equivalency. in settlement. Why? Because sex and SA are not comparable. Okay. Okay, no, but, but what I'm saying is, is that if it's if it's SA? not just a barrier based around personalization, right, uh-huh. and preferences, then you're looking at the same thing from the religious to if you were looking at it from the the and, and the argument against the religious is. Well, no, this is voluntary because you could just go get a prostitute. It's like, well, no, it's involuntary. They want to do it, right? I, but they have a barrier from doing it, just like the lack of the, the SA portion would I, be the same yeah. thing, a barrier from doing it. Right? I genuinely don't think a lion's share of incels are opting out of booking a hooker for religious reasons. I'm pretty sure Facts. a large number of porn consumers are incels. So if they were opting out of sex for religious reasons, they wouldn't be like consuming so much porn. Yeah, so you don't think that people who are heavily religious would, would like to have sex, that they might have those wants to do? That's not what involuntary means. Yeah, I think, but this is where I'm drawing a distinction with you. Because if your argument for, no, that's not involuntary, it means... If, if, if you it's say involuntary, they could just go get, you know, a, a sex worker, then why couldn't I just respond by saying, well, if it's involuntary, why couldn't they just go assault a chick, get the same result? Well, how would it be involuntary? For because if just... I call someone homeless, I'm saying, yeah, they could squat somewhere technically illegally, but I would still consider them homeless. What does that have to do with what I said? It's an analogy. Yeah, but how's the analogy apply? Because doing something unlawfully doesn't make it, doesn't now make it sex. It, well, wait a second. Wait, wait, back up. What, what is it then? I'm saying if they're an incel... It's just unlawful sex, right? My point is, if they're an incel and they're complaining that they just can't get sex, they can book a hooker, but that's typically not what yeah, they're they looking for. Yeah, they could also SAH They're looking for a level of emotional <laughs> yeah, intimacy. But get, that's but, my but point. But this is what I'm saying. There's a barrier. They're both what you would consider One's a barrier. One's a barrier legally. The other one's legal. Yeah, but, but they're both barriers is people, the point. I don't think people are opting out of it's hookers not, for religious reasons. Why, why? You don't think so? No. Why? Well, maybe some are, but I'm saying an incel who's go an incel someone. who's jacking yeah, off to porn created, every day isn't now drawing the line I, at prostitution. I've now created two of different religion. categories of incel for you. I'm saying that one, I believe that both of them are involuntarily. We're not talking about doing the this. actual incel community, the people on Reddit. We're not talking I about believe your, like, that that is an actual person who's incel waiting until marriage to find a have godly heard, woman. Have you ever heard of the tradcasts who self ID as incels, for instance? The reason that they self ID as incels is because they say, yeah, sure, we would love to be rolling around and having tons of sex with women, but we don't, right? Because we have this ex-belief.